Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifar. On the 13th of May, CIG posted an Inside Star Citizen titled Capacity for Battle, having to do with the new capacitor gameplay that's being added to Star Citizen. The discussion was hosted by Yogi and Richard from the vehicle team. Here's what you need to know about the show. The point of capacitor gameplay is to bring a new layer into Star Citizen, but it's mainly going to impact how dogfighting works. The capacitor will sit between the device and the power plant. Devices will draw power quicker than the power plant can create it, so the capacitor offers a small buffer of power reserve. Deplete the reserve quickly and you will have to wait for it to charge. Operate by firing bursts and in theory everything will have the power that it needs all the time. This is coming to all systems and will give you the choice to customize when choosing our components and will work with overheat, overclock and other mechanics. The developer said that we currently choose gear, overclock it a little bit and don't often micromanage the settings once the fight has begun. They indicated that this and other systems all tied together will provide the player more control through fine-tuning systems during combat. That may sound fine on paper, but I suppose I really want to test it for myself to see if that's actually going to provide a better gaming experience. Needing to push more buttons more frequently during combat to be competitive could be either good or bad, so I'm obviously interested to play test that. Having to stop flying, grab a mouse, look at an MFD, scroll through 20 or more components to find the correct one, then mess with sliders might just be long enough for the enemy to strip you of all your shields and kill you. I was happy to hear them specifically say that they're going to be testing to dial in the balance and use our feedback. I'm going to point out that they did explain the system well, but I believe that an hour-long show like SC Live, where we would see them in a dogfight with examples of adjusting on the fly and the resulting behavior, might be super informative. Comment your comments in the comments. Jared introduced the next section on crew stations. Operator mode customizes the overlays. Quantum and mining are two examples of custom overlays. The goal is to let the crew station cycle through different modes to allow for a better multi-crew gameplay. The next mode that's being worked on is missile operator mode. In a single-seater ship, the pilot can use either gun or missile mode. However, in multi-crew ships, the advantage is that the pilot and crew member can operate both at the same time. Before there was only locked and not locked, in the future, the strength of the lock will be displayed and indicate how likely or not likely you are to actually hit the target. This is also for one or multiple missiles. Missile flight is moving to IFCS 2.0. Missiles will have a finite quantity of fuel that will deplete faster as more maneuvers are made. Missiles have three phases. Boost will get the missile to the target. Intercept will guide the missile to the target. And in terminal tracking, the missile will expend all of its fuel to hit the target. And that's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.